I'm issuing the challenge. Full beard. You come to the festival. I want you to bring with you the sourest beer that's ever been soured. Be going down, people of the world. My name is Redbeard, and this is yet another Daily Drink Vlog. Thanks a bunch for joining me. For the beer of the today, we've got a can of Dance of the Sugar Plum. It's the latest in the Twisted Whiskers Soured Sour series by Full Beard Brewing out of Timmins, Ontario, coming in at 5.3% ABV. Heck yes. This was gifted to me by Benji from Full Beard last time he came to town, along with the couple bottles of their barrel-aged maple vanilla stout thing that they made. And, uh, yeah, I've quite enjoyed the other sour beers they've made in this series up to this point. So with that in mind, and no further ado, let us crack this open and let us see what we have got. I'm assuming it's a sour made with sugar plums. I don't think I've ever had a sugar plum in my life. It's got a very odd color to it. Wow, that's like kind of dark and turbid, maybe the word I'm looking for with that. Like really, I guess it's, it's like a really, really weird deepish red color. I don't know if I can really get that to light up. Nah, not really showing the color all that nicely. It's got a really odd hue to it. The head is kind of just this off-white, a little bit orange tinge to it. Tightly packed bubbles that aren't fading away as typically quickly as you'd expect with a sour beer. It smells kind of nice and sweet, like I'm assuming that's the smell of a sugar plum, which I've never smelled before in my life. It has zero of that typical kind of funky, somewhat unpleasant sour smell that most sour beers have. Nothing but that kind of fruity flavor. Fruity smell. Sorry, let's see if it's a fruity flavor. Give it a shot. That is, um... Tasty, but... Potentially the most unsour sour beer I've ever had in my life. It's got like this nice kind of fruity flavor. I'm assuming that's what a sugar plum tastes like. Just kind of sweet and fruity. <laughs> I'm a, I apologize for my tongue's failings when it comes to tasting notes and stuff, but it's not bad. Let's get into it and see if things change. Cheers, everybody, and also many cheers to the people at Full Beard. The full beard, the beard, loves you. Damn right. There will be one of hopefully around 15 breweries attending the first ever Red Beard Beer Fest happening this year, May 23rd, here in North Bay at the Granite Club from 2 p.m. until 10 p.m. Go to your website browser, worst misspeaking ever, and type in redbeardfestival.ca. Make sure you spell beard like that. Get your tickets today. Yeah, let's do this. It is nice. It's got a nice fruity flavor to it. Again, it's like... It's reminiscent of something. It's almost like a little bit... It's almost a little bit like apple juice. Overall, in the flavor, in my opinion. It's got a, the tiniest little... Eh, of a tartness off the hop, but then it just... Like... I like it, but Full Beard has made more sour, sour beers than this that I have had. There's a kingdom just beyond a star, not too far. You can go if you dare. In that kingdom, you'll find this sugar plum sour ale. Oh yeah? Sounds like an interesting place to go to. Water, malted barley, unmalted wheat, plum puree, milk sugar, hops, yeast, and lactobacillus. I got lactose in there. That's an odd ingredient for a sour. No, I've, I've had, I'm sure I've had Collective Arts beers that have lactose in them. Some of their crazy, insane 
super, super unfiltered juicy bombs. But um, yeah, so it's it's plums. Which again, I've had at least one plum in my life, but it's not something... When it comes to stone fruit, like give me a peach all day, every day. Not really a fan of any other ones I can think of. Like a nectarine, I guess, is not bad either. But yeah, I don't know. Although, like again, the, the plum's not bad. I just, whatever, maybe a, the lactobacillus didn't really do its thing quite as much as it could have. I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I want to know. I'm always willing to learn more about the way beers brewed and stuff, but yeah, I'm not sure. This, this just really isn't doing it for me in a big way as a sour beer. Just like some kind of fruited ale or something. Some kind of nice beer made for the summertime. Like maybe borderline Goza level. Yeah, this would be glorious on a hot summer day on a patio. It still wouldn't really be all that sour, but... There, I'm, I'm throwing down the gun. I'm issuing the challenge. Full beard, when you come to the festival, I want you to bring with you the sourest beer that's ever been soured. I believe in you. I think that'd be pretty cool. Like, obviously on top of a couple predetermined beers, but that could be a third special surprise kind of thing. I think that'd be pretty awesome. Because, you know, again, I don't, I don't dislike the beer. I want to be able to give you guys all the props in the world because you're amazing. I love you. Your brew is amazing. You make great beer. But, you know, I can't be bought or something along those lines. If the beer isn't blowing my mind, I'm not going to lie about it. For someone who isn't really into sours, though, this, this wouldn't be a bad, maybe, introductory sour beer. I, I can't not say that. That's maybe a secret bonus that nobody thought of right there. It would be a decent thing to give somebody who's like never had a sour beer and, you know, work your way up from here. Once again, the flavor overall, no issues with that at all. Just, I want to be puckered. And with that in mind, um, that's about eight minutes of recording time. So, breaky break break. It's good, but it could be more sour. Once again. All right. I don't know if I've ever had a plum beer. And like I said, it's been a long time since I've had a plum at all, but I almost want to kind of try a plum now. I like it. Uh, fullbeardbrewing.com we'll bring it to fullbeardbrewing.com you can meet the awesome people like there's John there's Benji and I'm not sure if Andrew comes up can't recall yeah there's Andrew he's a he's a tank <laughs> uh, drink no last <sighs> it's good stuff one more thing though 3.64 to 5 on tap 16 ratings overall so that is not a lot of people at all to have tried that beer. Yay me. Rating wise, seven. It's still very tasty. It just really, really didn't hit those sour notes that I wanted it to. But uh, with that in mind, if you've tried this beer and maybe you got a can that was more sour than me, I don't know, let's start an argue argument in the comments down below because the video is done. If you liked it, smash the thumbs up button in the face. If you want to see more, subscribe to the bell notification. Blah, blah, blah. Back with something like this tomorrow. A Peace out. Just realized if I scroll down a little bit, you got the bit.
John's the beard. Benji's the brains. Andrew is... It doesn't say the brewer. And then Kirby is not the brewer. It should be like the brewer from Australia. And the cute brewer or so. I don't know. Um, done. <laughs>